Okay, this is an Arduino Uno. And everyone's talking about Arduino based on this um, at Mega uh, chip here made by Atmel. Uh, this is a 328 running at 16 megahertz. And these are really cool because you can just plug in your USB directly. This is like a printer USB cable. It has external power supply. And you can also run and program just by plugging in your USB cable and it powers up the board. These are as cheap as $19. Um, we just bought some at $24. They seem to be going down in price. But the thing about Arduino is that it is open source. So that means that anyone can make this design. And in fact, people have been making this design. Well, this is kind of big and clunky and you couldn't really stitch this into clothing. So here we have an Arduino lily pad. And they're about 20 bucks. This is actually original. I don't even know if you can get these anymore. This one has does not have direct USB support. In this case, you have to plug in a special um, programmer that looks like this. And these are about another $20 a piece. But once you buy it, you can program any of these devices just by plugging in here. So the Arduino lily pad is very cool. And this was designed for fabric. There's a new one out uh, that's a little bit smaller and has direct uh, USB support. And, but still, they're $24 with the USB support that you can just plug into a, a cable. Add to that, you have thread, which is another $6.95 for 60 feet. And you can stitch this into clothing. But now, just for one package, we're talking about, you know, $30 in materials without the LEDs. Enter the Atmel... Arduino Clone Mini. Okay, so here we have the Arduino Mini Pro, or this one is called the Pro Mini, I guess because the official uh, Arduino brand is called the Mini Pro. So we will open this up. This is right from the, just got this in the mail. Open this up. Comes with header pins, not soldered. And it comes with a programming header pin. It will go in here like this. We just have four solder joints, and we'll have we'll have that soldered. You can see the size of this thing. This is identical to the lily pad. So much smaller. This one is a clone. This was made, the company is out of New York, and I just paid $3.99 a piece for these. It's a $3.99 breadboard uh, board. And what I've done is soldered up one. I've put my 9 volt battery cap on. I've soldered the pins on for the programmer. And instead of using See if we can get a good view there. There we go. Instead of using this really fancy stainless steel wire here from Adafruit, I have used something called magnet wire. And magnet wire is about $5 for 1,000 feet. This is about $6 for 60 feet. So this is uh, a lot less money. And I'm also using a ribbon cable, which is lying around most people's shops. It's uh, what used to be uh, the way they used to power computers. So this is a ribbon cable. And I just took this and I cut a piece off and I formed a wire. And then I wrapped the magnet wire around and I soldered little LEDs to this. So the idea is that this is a really inexpensive way to build a kit with library kids for maybe four or five bucks a piece. And you could either um, maybe charge five dollars and, and the kids would get the kits. Or maybe the library could sponsor it through friends or something and you would have uh, working kits. 
One more thing that I have not added yet is that we could put a microphone on here, but I did want to just show you that these little LEDs connect and we just have something happening with the LEDs. So in this case, we could actually stitch this into a piece of clothing and have something interesting happening. Or we could um, add a microphone and have kind of a, a robotic looking necktie or scarf. So that's my plan for the NJLA presentation would be to teach um, librarians how to make one of these devices. And we could do that in you know two hours, two and a half hours. And we'd have a really nice program. I will bring the soldering stations. I will bring uh, the programmers. You don't have to buy the programmers, but certainly if you're going to do this in your library, you would want to pick up a few things. I'll make up a list of, of things that I think that you should buy in order to do the program. Thanks for watching.